<laughs> We're at the Dutch Frontiers Conference here in Amsterdam. The Frontiers is a Dutch organization for front-end developers. Peter Paul Koch, one of the organization, has managed to get some really interesting front-end developer speakers from all over the world, such as Dean Edwards, Peter LePage, Anna van Kesteren, Chris Heilman and Andy Clark. Here are the highlights. A closure allows you to pull in different variables that are used and then remember them later. So you get a free memory. You were talking also about, the, uh, about positioning. What are the main benefits instead of using float? I'm not sure whether there are benefits, but there are lots of there's lots more flexibility that you can do with positioning. Uh, you talked about a big problem that everybody knows, like village bicycle, pot noodle syndrome, Lego bricks, the tale of the missing Spanish gentleman and travel shuffle. Yep. I'd like to get into the tale of the missing uh, Spanish gentleman. What do you mean by that? Well, that's basically, it was a joke about that everything comes with a manual, so it comes with a free Spanish book about a man called Manuel, and uh, we just don't read manuals. No. It's like uh, a lot of effort goes into explaining things to us, but we're most of the time too busy to even read that before we start playing with something. basically just you know show how to how to use these design patterns um, you know in your web applications to make them easier to design easier to maintain easier to extend um, and stuff like that so you need to take measures to make it more likely that no one is excluded from access to your website and um, just by uh, requiring that it should be accessible, it doesn't mean that it's going, going to be accessible. So you need added measures, and that's why compliance plays an important role in that. I think CSS is getting uh, more complex with larger websites. And the, the reason is, uh, when you start working on a project, you can keep everything clean. But when you have many developers in a complex environment, uh, other people will start working and they'll start adding to the CSS. So you could start with 400 lines of code and end up with 4,000. Uh, what are the main features uh, that are coming up for, as well as for users as developers? You know, some of the big features and the ones that we're really excited about are accelerators, web slices, visual search. Those are the big things that really provide the user with, with ways to connect back with their websites yeah. and be able to use the things and, and do things more easily than they could in the past. Uh, we also saw the presentation about uh, Internet Explorer 8. Right. Do you think it supports the new feature from HTML5 enough? Um, it doesn't add that many features and, it, and one of the things they did is they for instance, for DOM storage, they, yeah. they implemented that. They extended it with two attributes and did the first beta actually had a completely different implementation of it from anyone else. It was, I'm not sure if this tells you much, but the, their implementation was asynchronous, where the standard specifies that it should be synchronous, so it directly returns. These were the highlights. If you want to see the full interviews or the complete presentations, they will be available soon on the website www.bacheloric.nl. If you want to discuss your ideas with these people or you want to stay updated on the new developments on front-end development, become a member of Frontiers. Go to the website www.frontiers.nl, become a member and stay updated. Me gusta los aviones, me gusta